now we will see how to represent the carbon compounds in a three dimensional structure See, there are various ways of writing down a molecule. Like, say, if I write propane, so I would write like this. This is structural formula. Of one, two, three, so it is propane. In bond line notation, we can also write it as one, two, three, so we can simply write it as one, two, and three. It is called as bond line notation. Its orbital picture will be like this. So one one electron will be there in each, one electron, one one electron each, so two electrons, this one sigma bond, another sigma bond. Now it also contains one electron each like this, now hydrogen can come. and can share its electron so this is orbital picture What happens that is why the bonds are in zigzag form they are not like straight line they are in zigzag form and since each of these carbon atoms are sp3 hybridized so each of these are tetrahedral in shape each of these are tetrahedral in shape one tetrahedron another tetrahedron another tetrahedron so to keep our work simple we can show this by wedge line notation formula wedge So what do we do in this? We write the molecule carbon, two hydrogens will be in the same plane, say this hydrogen and say this carbon from here, another carbon from here, 
they will be in the same plane one hydrogen will go inside the board one will come outside from here one will go inside the board so in this way each of these hydrogen carbon hydrogen bond assumes 109 degree 28 minutes bond this is the bond angle So in this way we draw 3D structure of hydrocarbon or organic compounds.